All right, let's see if Joe's here. Joe, are you here? We are going to start. I just started recording. This is the, this is the Q, this is the Q and A, guys. Oh, two seconds. All right, wrap up that shit. Get off that porcelain, bro. Holy oh, shit, he is sick in the head, dude. Joe's over here, short and spy. He gets that little turn. He's like, dude, it's on. Let's see what he's doing. Let's root Joe on, man. Go, someone squeeze Joe. Just send in 2 million shares right here and you may be able to squeeze Joe. <laughs> oh, there you go. When you guys talk about outer lines and drawing your lines, do you have videos, lessons explaining this? In what order should I watch the video lessons? Yes, we do, brother. So uh, two ways you can go about that, Bar Tech, is you can go, uh, let's go to the, let's go to the um, videos tab real quick. Or actually, let's just go to my MIC real quick. The first thing you could do is watch Face right, Study here. Guide in order. What's up, Joe? What's up, bro? All right, or the ahead. second thing you guys can do really quick is just go to the videos tab and um, do the search feature for inner and outer lines right there, buddy. Dude, you shorten the spy, you sick fuck. <laughs> Are you not on the up and up of what's happening right now? I, dude, I'm, I'm so not on the up and up. What's going on with okay, the Okay, there's the literally house, riots. <laughs> there's literally riots at the Capitol building right now. So, so who won? Are the Democrats in or the Repubs? The Trump supporters are rioting at the Capitol right now. There is a gunpoint standoff in what? the chamber. Get the fuck um, out of here. What? Yeah, where have you been, bro? Dude, given this yeah, that's damn why webinar. I'm sure. I blame all you guys. <laughs> holy shit, dude! What, I, I, uh, what do I type in? Like gunpoint at Capitol? Like holy shit! Well, I mean, just look at the market news feed channel in MIC. I mean, there's there's thousand there's like a hundred fucking headlines. Shots have been fired in the chamber. What the fuck? U.S. Dude, lawmakers US are inside the chamber. Protesters have entered Pelosi's office. Smith and Wesson shares are up fifteen percent. <laughs> I don't even know whether to find that funny or sad. Oh my God! That's Guns drawn in the chamber, ridiculous. dude. The, oh my God! Wow, dude. Wow. So history is being made right now while I talk about. <laughs> and the market is still green by one percent, nearly on the day. You know what? This dude? is just astonishing to me. You know what, man? Twenty twenty one is starting off exactly like people thought it would. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit, guys! Be safe out there, man. Fuck. This is this is just crazy, man. This is just insane. Here you go. Did I? Here you go. Look at that headline. Protesters there. in the Senate. Look at that dude Are just sitting on the Senate him? seat with guns and everything. I think I know that guy. <laughs> I think I saw that guy down at the bar. I think I saw him long Bitcoin and get rich and then lose it all. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, dude, aliens are coming in 2021. I'm pretty and sure he was selling a Bitcoin course at one point. And now he's rioting in the. Oh, I knew he looked familiar, dude. This was that guy that told me I could freaking, he could trade my money and give me 95% of it back. All I had to do was. <laughs> all I, oh, that freaking. All funny. I had to do was wire him a bunch of XRP. Yeah. I just had to Apple pay him some shit using the. No, fuck that, dude. So this is, I mean, just kind of what I'm seeing here in the markets is is i was wondering we like, have and edson made this webinar, dude. I swear edson made not. this observation too and i fully agree with edson on this people are still just blindly buying the dips in the market and so you know what that indicates is that there is a lot of there there's nobody willing to to there's no sellers right because it's just retail blindly buying every dip that they can to be able to you know with the hopes of it melting up yeah usually when that happens that's the onset of another correction not like covid pandemic correction i'm not saying that i'm just saying you know a 10 15 percent drop which is very normal for the market um we need it the market needs it in order to 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 get you know more 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 efficiency well joe, let me, the price let me and the ability to hold that joe let me ask you a question on that so back when we were given webinars about four months ago i would say no let me show you a picture that's gonna freaking shock you dude joe think about october and november right three or four months ago dude we were talking about how it was a how it was a fake it until you, what the fuck 
you got look it. at this they have pushed the piano in front of the doors of the chamber and those are secret service agents at gunpoint standoff through the glass with protesters dude i'm getting a tenant flashback i swear to god you have to be kidding me that's like dude, the world is flipping over dude is this america like oh, man dude this is embarrassing this is embarrassing as an American, as a U.S. citizen. This is absolutely embarrassing at the level of, of childishness. Well, that we Joe, are. that's what I wanted to ask you. So back in it, October, dude, at, yeah, the end of capitalism. It's embarrassing. Well, check it's this out. It's embarrassing, man. It, I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat, man. As an American, this is embarrassing. Well, the reason why it's embarrassing, man, is because, he, you know, like just to kind of deviate from stocks a little bit is here's, here's my thought process on the whole thing. What was originally, you know, constitution and true democracy, you know, there was a real say in things, man. There was a real liberty. There, yeah. was, a real, there was a real justice system where people were like, look, man, I don't agree with that, but I'm going to let you speak. Whether you believe in Trump, whether you believe in Biden, Absolutely. it doesn't matter. We are losing, dude, right speak. after right after right. It's getting so unbelievably sensitive to the point where shit like this is happening. And it's like, dude, do we even live in a democracy anymore? Like this is starting to show signs yeah. of what, what <clears throat> not only like socialism or communism, like just not having a say in little things, dude. And, and honestly, Joe, you know what this is, dude? I'll tell you what this is, man. This is finally people hitting the boiling point, dude. And it's so sad to see because it's, it's like, wow, yeah, dude, you're like, right. this yeah. is really what's happening. But both sides, you know, when Trump got into power, man, it angered people to the point where, dude, some of my, you know, look, I'm very Republican, but I've got very Democratic family members. And I would have family members or friends, dude, want to like, they would say things like, I hope Trump dies. I'm like, look, that's so extreme, man. I, I don't, look, I don't like Biden in office, but I don't wish he dies, man. Like, that's crazy, right? The, all this stuff has just brought out the evil of fucking the government, man, and the government under the government. And now shit's like this happening is because no side feels like they have rights and liberty anymore, man. So now they're demanding it, yeah. dude. Dude, it, well, it's, you know, like, look at this. U.S. President Trump is currently in the White House dining room. What the fuck? Oh my like, God. oh my God. And, this is, and this then, feels like the last Star and Wars, then man. he tweets, and then he tweets to please protest peacefully. Don't disband the protest. Just do it peacefully. Well, yeah, because. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> like, you, it's, I mean, it, it's already proven that we can't protest peacefully. Like, well, that, that was proven all of 2020, yes. Yeah. Dude, well, no matter I'm, no matter what you stand for, no matter no matter but what look you're at standing these, up for, it, it, look at these dips, man. It was not these dips are getting bought. People were not they, able to protest um, on a calm manner, and the ones that did, dude, soon went crazy. Right, no matter what the yep. jurisdiction justification, uh, whether it was you know political related, whether it wasn't political related, and here's the fun. Okay, so now let's bring it back to training. Let's bring it back. So. Joe, in October and November, you and I both had a discussion almost every single week, dude, and we were talking with Aloha Trader at the time, um, outside of the Mandalorian, we were saying, dude, this is a market where it's faking it till it makes it. Bro, yes. we're so past the point of return of faking it, now it's like, has it truly fucking made it, dude? Because like you said, there's no sellers, bro. Everything's all-time highs. People have such good averages that have been adding and adding and adding for half a yep. year, and the Fed came in, they started printing and printing and printing. Now it's like, dude, like, do they sell? Is if are I we was going long to have right now, a market? <laughs> if I was long right now and buying every single dip has worked for me for the last X number, why would you I would just change keep it? Buying, why yeah, would you would change it? These, I would just blindly buy them. That's my point, Joe. Why would you change it? You go, I got the Fed behind me. Um, yep. There's every single kind of disaster that happened in 2020 happen, and the markets are still at highs. Why the fuck would I not? Why wouldn't I buy dips until it stops working? That is the notion right now of every single investor in the market, every single one. Absolutely. Even yep. educated traders, dude. Bro, it's, yep. it, it's truly mind boggling. So what I think, dude, is uh, like, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, because you're more on the big cap side of things. 
Dude, I think we have a sick 2021 in the markets. I think it's not going to be a bear market. I truly think that, yes, maybe we get a 10 or 15% immediate correction like we did in the pandemic. Maybe something happens. Dude, I bet, I bet this strength continues. It might. It might. My feeling is, is, um, is it's going to be like 2018 where it was just kind of sideways. Not really like it's going to be volatile. I think You're it's right. going like, to be... I think it's going to flatten out, but I think it's going to be, be looking like this every single day. Like this would be an intraday trade. Exactly. Day. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be wildly up and then drastically down and then wildly. And it's, that's just my feelings is I think we are close to setting a top that we will eventually use for the entire year of 2021. I completely as a agree point. with you there, Joe. I just don't think that it's going to be a bear market where we retest new, 200s and new, 250s. No, 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 no. That's never coming, dude. I thousand percent agree with you there. there that's never coming not back. Coming. It's not coming back. No, I, it, I can't imagine this being worse than Brexit in 2015. You know, Brexit that, lasted two months. Brexit exactly. lasted two months. It's, there was no <laughs> action. But my warning here is, you know, don't just be blindly buying stuff way up here at these prices because if it corrects 10 to 15%, can you outlast that mentally and capitalistically, right? So, so Joe, remember, remember what I said every week. Guys, there's two ways to kind of, oh, my God, look at that. He's got a gun at the door. This is, dude, they're breaking through the fucking door. Yeah, this is, this I mean, be, this is like this a zombie a apocalypse. History. This will be a day in history for the red. This will be something we talk about with our children's children. Bro, this that is literally out of it. I can see it now. Turn to page sixty nine, guys. Yeah, in your social studies books on page page sixty nine. Oh my god! <laughs> you know I had to throw that in. <laughs> I just got that. Turn to page sixty nine, um, and you will see minus the dick drawings on the side of your textbook. You will yeah, notice minus. how the zombies came in and stormed the Capitol. <laughs> This is nuts, dude. I still can't get over it, it while I was giving this webinar. Well, you just over here just talking, and I'm over here like short spy, and you're like, you're so <laughs> evil. And I'm like, do you not know anything that's going on right now? <laughs> Joe's out and here like, being I just been giving anti American, a webinar, and I'm here. Yeah. Just... <laughs> I'm like, Joe's, uh, like, Joe's like, I'm going to pay my rent with these dumb motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Got a mortgage to pay, son. Well, and you know um, what, man? Welcome to the reality of the markets, guys. For every dollar that is lost, a dollar is gained. And it, yep. at the end of the day, unless this affects you immediately, and when I say directly, I mean immediately. Like this happening, like you live close to this and it's affecting you today. Guys, there is there is opportunity in this. Unfortunately, as 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 capitalistic as it is to say, but also kind of un-American at the same time, Joe's not wrong, dude. The spy is probably not. I mean, this is why we had a huge pullback, guys. I mean, this doesn't just happen. Mm -hmm. I was I was giving this webinar and like, what is this? I was literally thinking to myself while I was talking, what the fuck is going on? Yep. And dude, oh my it, god, it's, shots have been fired. That's old news. That happened oh, okay. earlier. That happened earlier. Oh, they shots did. fired okay. was that was back you know, uh, probably 20 minutes ago. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're turning into Venezuela, dude. We'll be full socialism. We will have no say and they will just rape us, dude. It's, um, so for me in terms of risk, um, I have a stop now at break even, which is right around three seventy five fifty ish. Oh, so, so you've got the market. Average. Oh Yes. Yeah, if the market bounces over 375 fit, if I go back to break even after I just went like on my put options, I just went like 25%. I just made 25% in 30 minutes. Nice, Joe. And so, but I didn't realize anything because I'm just sitting on it. But now instead of giving anything back, like I'm not going to let a winner turn into a loser. Now I'm just going to move my stop to break even and I'm just going to let it be. Like well, if it goes back and, and it goes and I go flat, you know, like I go from being up and in the green to back to zero dollars, I won't hesitate in stopping out of this trade. And here's the pivot points, guys. I just put the pivots on there so you can see how it reacts. Yep. Yeah, you can see that you can see my average. I shorted that big red candle. Hey, like as soon as it waited for the death candle on an uptrend, and, you six and then I saw that those little pauses right there on the, on that three minute, you can see it pretty good on the three minute, how it just kind of pauses. And then as soon as it started to snap, right I was like, Boom, I'm in. It was and right so, <laughs> and so if we bounce back to there, 
then, then I'm going to stop out and I won't, I'm not going to have any hard feelings about this. If it goes back to there, I don't want any business in the short. I'm not going to get gravitated to like, I can't believe that this is that, that, that I'm, if it, if it touches it to end, I mean, look at this 374.50. I mean, that's one point away. That's not, that's nothing major. I mean, it could easily stop me out. Easily stop. Easily but if you're stop break even, out. Joe, that's a beautiful trade because while you're in the money, you know, not like even you're going for a home run or anything, but you're willing to play on a news-based trade of like, dude, this is going on. Spy technically, technically, quote unquote, should very much tank on news like this because this is showing unrest in the streets. This is showing economy collapsing. This is showing where officials and law enforcement and things that are supposed to go right are going wrong. This yep. should reflect in the but spy. I mean, we're holding at the incredible top of the ends of the daily range. I mean, look at this, 374, 375, 375. Look at this shit. This is an astounding bounce on that type of news. And what this tells us is that people are just blindly buying. I am. And look at this, dude. Look at this. So, I'm inside Nancy Pelosi's office with the thousands of revolutionaries who have stormed the building. To put it into perspective how quickly staff evacuated, emails are still on the screen alongside a federal alert warning members of the current revolution. Damn! That, dude, I can't believe this. 375.17. Joe's just like, I hope I don't lose money. I hope I don't lose the money. <laughs> well, I'm, just keeping, I'm just keeping an eye on this that way. I mean, the put options are so liquid that I can easily get out of these, but um, I'm just like, yep, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm... I'm just watching the price action. Like if, if, if this, if these type of like tweets and stuff like this start to have an effect, I'll pay attention to them. But so Guys, far they're the not right having there. an effect. Notice the stuff at the pivot point. This is why we plot them on our screens. Notice that little touch and grab there and like actually reject so far. Yep. Yeah, if it reclaims that pivot point, that's pretty much my stop. Well, and I like your spot, Joe. I like your stop because here's the thing, dude. Your, the next pivot would be very far away. Like, I like your stop because it would be like, dude, if this kept going, if this was a small cap, it, you know, you just, you just hit the next line if it death candles. But if this was a small cap trade, dude, Joe did exactly what you're supposed to do, minus the news or not. If this was a small cap, dude, on an uptrender, you just wait for that turn. This is the turn that shows significant downside potential, and then yep. you short the bounce, right, which Joe pretty much did. But he wanted, because this is spy, he wanted clarification that, okay, we may base here and then launch the new highs. Nope, nope, we got the weakness. He sees his candle, he gets in, and then you can ride down. But, man, I, I, I am truly baffled at how this possibly could be bouncing. Dude, back in the day, not yep. 2020 related, right? Two years ago, Joe, when you get news like this, dude, spies at 350 after this news. Oh, absolutely. Bro, th th that's why I'm like, I don't think we'll enter a bear market for a long time, man, is look at what's going on in the world and we still bounce on the same day. Yeah, what? it's, oh, it's, um, yeah, there's no telling. But the yeah, if we break, if we so break back over this pivot point, I'm out of the short and I'll I take a small profit. I make, I might make, 50 bucks <laughs> so, if it does, like dude it's it won't be anything we'll, we'll title this we'll title this how joe trades <laughs> how may how to make 50 dollars <laughs> <laughs> using pivot points <laughs> after being up 600 yeah yeah there you go <laughs> uh joe's like joe's like why yeah. didn't i take that 600 bucks <laughs> dude it, i'm well the reason why i didn't take the 600 bucks is because the chart is intact like where did I take the short position at 375.50, like in that red candle? Yeah, he's doing a break even. Yeah, so I got in here before the big bounce right here. Dude, right? you know what so, the crazy part is, Joe? Dude, Spy literally trades like a small cap these days on the upside squeezes to the point mm -hmm. where, dude, this little dip right here, no joke. It, like, I wouldn't be surprised if this just catches a bunch of shorts, man, like big institutional Absolutely. shorts. Because they and that's why, dude, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of is like, I don't want to get caught in that. And then all of a sudden it just starts like skipping dimes. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, before you can yeah, I'm like, okay, I was up 600. Now I'm up 50. Now I'm down 200. What the fuck? What the fuck? And <laughs> look so at what I'm Edson just, like, just said. Look at what Edson just said. I double my UVXY calls, unrealize and stop out of entry. Welcome to the new normal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah this is an old old image yeah right we here. saw that yeah we saw that earlier people are gonna say antifa people are gonna say proud boys whatever it is dude oh it's is that crazy. out front 
That can't be out front. Is no that out way. front? That's out front. Yeah, because yeah. there's the stands for the presidential uh, – And for this the... fucker came ready, dude. Look at this fucking guy. Yeah, he came ready, dude. Jesus. Look at him. He's got a sheetrock dust mask. He was doing sheetrock. No, rock literally, dude. That like, that's, that's no joke mask, dude. Like, he came ready. It looks like he was I, – I personally think that that's a roofer's mask. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I think he was laying insulation in a we got in freaking, attic earlier We got freaking Black morning. Ops with a 7 KDR right here, dude. We got freaking Call of Duty right here. Black Ops, man. I'm telling you. You, you don't fuck with these guys, dude. This is shocking, bro. This guy's ready for a – Yeah. This, this guy's dressed like, like, a, like he's about to have the dog mm -hmm. sniff a bomb, dude. <laughs> Yet, here's the astonishing part. Yet – the market is still nearly up 1% on the day. I don't get it, dude. I, back in the day, three years ago, that's what I'm saying. Because, I, dude, Joe, I started on big caps, dude. I know how SPY moves more than anything. Bro, two Will years ago. Will small caps be affected? This, no. This would have been a $15 drop on something like this. What is happening? Oh, yeah, absolutely. What is happening to the SPY these days? Like, it, it almost seems like on days where there's bad news, it's good news because you can just have an opportunity to buy the dip before they squeeze out shorts. Yeah, it's why are we so afraid of it dropping again? It's not like it's going to zero. A drop just makes the bounce even better. Well, That's all I only, want. I want the that, drop. Joe, I want the only, drop so that I can buy the bounce again. Well, not only that, dude, let's educate people on what that would even mean if SPY went to zero. There would be no U.S. companies. Yeah, there'd if be nothing. If the SPY went to zero, that means there's no operating companies on the street. There's no Google, there's no Tesla, there's no anything. Sure, we're in need of a correction, but you guys, this is why investing or buying bounces on SPY is, is such a viable strategy or you know, niche in itself is that, dude, this is the 500 of the biggest companies in the world, well, in the US. And, and this is predicated upon the strength of the American economy. If this went to zero, dude, you wouldn't even be able to go to the store and get, a, mm -hmm. get an iPad. This mm -hmm. would not go to zero, it's impossible. And we keep, the fact that the market keeps wicking on on the hourly time frame, like there's a big wick that got bought up on the hourly time frame on the spy, and and then we are currently uh, printing a big wick on the hourly, but the hourly won't close for another forty minutes, and so uh, the last hourly bar of the day won't close for another forty minutes. So, dude, look if, at you know what's weird? If though? we close up near VWAP here, I'm not holding overnight. Joe, you know what's weird though? Like the the three that have baffled me today, dude, they, they really have baffled me. Is Zoom is selling off on all of this? Netflix is taking a wow sell off big time for the last week, and snow got destroyed today. I'm like yeah. baffled on these three, man, truly. Because the Qs think... are doing they were doing <laughs> fine today, dude, until this. Yeah, I think that um because it appears that that everybody is going to basically they're 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 going on the assumption and they're sending in the votes that you know uh that democrats are you know they're they're probably going to have majority in the senate they're probably going to yep. have majority in the presidency and the house the whole thing and um so because of that you know, tech companies and people that are investors in tech companies, you know, they're, they're anticipating that Democrats are going to tax big tech a whole lot more. They're going to rape them, dude. And so that's why I think those things are selling off. So I'm watching the marijuana sector because, you know, if, Demo if, if, if Democrats lead the government, this is not me taking a political position. Solar and just marijuana, because, dude, it's going up. Dude, just because, think about this, just because... I say, or anyone says, I think Democrats are going to win, and I think this is the market effect that we're going to have. I'm not taking a political position telling you whether no I support situation. the Democrats that's, or Republicans. That's a traitor situation. That's a traitor. Let's put it this way. Let's blatantly put it this way. If I am a 49ers fan, just because I think the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl does not make me a fucking Chiefs fan. Okay, That's exactly right. I'm a 49ers fan, but if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl – and I think they're going to win the Super Bowl, and I bet that they're going to win the Super Bowl. That doesn't make me a Chiefs fan. 
Dude, just because you're putting your money on Logan Paul in the fight of, you know, Mayweather, right. doesn't mean doesn't... you love Logan Paul. You just think he's right. fucking two feet taller and 40 pounds heavier and can knock his bitch out. Exactly. <laughs> but, and so that's what I'm getting at is people, they're that, and like you were talking about earlier, we are so stretched, like with um, our, with how, what we tolerate news now. and disaster and yeah and, changes and it's and anything can set somebody off right now in these times and so like the fact that i say i think democrats are going to win immediately makes people think i support the democratic side and that i'm just against everything and i'm not da, 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 and i'm like well i'm not taking a political is, position yeah. <laughs> i'm an educator in a trading chat room i'm going to educate people and tell people that hey don't short marijuana pushes on day one because this is the effect that Democrats can have on the marijuana sector if Hold they on. take everything. Joe, we're getting a crack. Here we go. Maybe nice. this bounce was not nearly as strong as people think. That's what I'm telling you, man. That pivot point, if that pivot point reclaims, I'm out of this. You would have been fucked. You would have been fucked. I'm out of here. Joe, what's, what's the main marijuana uh, stock just, you're looking at? What are you looking at marijuana? Give me one. Well, just the typical, you know, the Tilray, TLRY, CGC, CRON, ACB. Huge, dude. Huge. So Guys, look at the, that, I mean, this is with the market. So. Yeah, no, no. The tanks are market related. But guys, during the day, why do you think uh, yep. solar and or marijuana was going up? Because the Dems, when they're in power, this is what goes up, dude. Oil is going to go fucking down. Anything that is, look. I don't care what side of politics you're on. Once we get, there, yeah, once we get back to a market normal, these are the things I'm watching. Of course, dude, because here's the thing, yep. dude. Whether you like it or not, whether you're a Republican or whether you're a Democrat, there are stocks that line up with the viewpoints or the business associations that are various political parties, whether it's Republican, whether it's Democrat, dude. Like, you know, a lot of, dude, any oil, um, you know, big tech, that's going to go down, dude, with the Dems, like he was saying, because they're going to get taxed. The Republicans keep those more afloat than the Democratic Party. The Democrats are more after the environment. They're after the solar. They're after the wheat, you know, things like that. So you're going to get, you know, certain like, dude, there was no coincidence on like Tesla was going crazy, solo, KNDI be, before all mm -hmm. this, you know, capital mm -hmm. stuff. Dude, everything that should have been ramping with the Dems in power was fucking ramping. Like that's just, yep. that's just the way it was looking going into today. You know, and that's, again, yep. that's not a political stance. It's just common sense of like, what is each political party back? Okay, maybe I should stay away from the short side or, or maybe I should go gung-ho on the short side if the Republicans were getting, you know, in. And then Yeah, it's if it all of a sudden turns turn around and Republicans regain control based on some voting miscounts or whatever, it could happen. All kinds of things could happen. If that happens, okay, now it's time to short, then it's time to bail on your long. Of course. It has nothing to do with politics, man. It has nothing to do with politics. And it's nothing. all about how the market reacts to those headlines and Yo! the outcome. Let's another, fucking go. Another pivot breach. Joe's making Let's money. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Joe, pay yourself something. No. <laughs> I'm not doing it, man. I'm not doing it. I think See, this Joe, is the, Joe doesn't Joe, uh -uh. Joe doesn't really do the tab program thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is <laughs> not a day pay trade, man. A bastard. This is not a day trade, bro. Yeah, I'm up 25 percent here. I, look at the look at this. You have to be kidding me. The, just a just the, two million dollars in artwork that's going to be obliterated by the end of the day. Are those bull horns? Genghis Khan breached the capital. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, was it like what cavemen? Trump supporters going at it on the steps of police with the cap. Yeah, this is. I don't care whether you support Trump or Biden. This is not good for the. It's market. not good for America, dude. Yeah, it's not good for any of us. I don't care whether you support the Trump cause or the Biden cause. It's not good for the market. I, I, dude, I don't care either. At the end of the day, man, you just got to know the facts of how the market's going to react, and you guys also got to not be blindsided to the fact that look because the Senate is going to be mostly Democrat now, or they're going to have the majority and ruling factor. And even if it is 50, 50, right? If it is 50, 50, the, the basically the tying vote goes to 
Kamala Harris, which is the vice president, right? So right. Yep. Kamala Harris is obviously representative of the Democratic Party. Guys, taxes <clears throat> will go up. There's no way around it. They're getting in control. Let me tell you something. You better expect taxes to go way up, or at least in, at least for the people who make a lot of money. You know, I'm scared as shit. I'm scared as shit if this Senate doesn't go Republican, just because I know how much more I'm going to pay in taxes. It's not even a political stance. It's just, oh man, I got to prep for this. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, this is. I'm a little confused on what his now. Look, there look, it's for. probably going to. What in the fuck, dude? Like, like, what made him say he wants to put a raccoon on his head and and look like Thor on you know? On you know Asgard. who he looks like. You know who he looks like is uh, what was that guy's <laughs> name from from Lord of the Rings that was the skin changer into the bear? Oh, on the that Hobbit. Was the no, Hobbit. That Hobbit. was the Hobbit, not Lord of the Rings. Uh, Tom the Bombadil, right? Or I, I forgot. Uh, um. Bjorn, is his name Born Baron? Bro, really Baron, quick, just, just something like, like that, dude. All seriousness Bjorn. aside, yeah. all seriousness aside, if this isn't so unbelievably accurate of what our our society looks like, like this is like this is like, yeah, take dude. this out of the capital, just take this, like put this in a textbook. This is a man. Look at that's this. That's a man. <laughs> Look at this. The dude on the right side probably works at fucking Whataburger in as a cook serving hamburger patties this guy in the middle is unemployed fully unemployed and then the dude on the left probably works at guitar center in pro audio like aisle 13 you gotta be kidding me these are not this this is that's those people represent america okay fuck me <laughs> claudio <dude. laughs> embarrassing yeah if you make a lot of money man you're gonna get it right this year dude sorry to say well, guys, we made history today. Not for, not in a good way. <clears throat> look at yeah, look at this fat reclaim off of the fucking pivot point, man. It's we're just stuck in this channel. It just bounce rejection, bounce mm -hmm. rejection. Do you guys and have any? So, oh wow. I mean, yeah. Feel free to ask questions. You guys have oh, any what's questions? What's you doing? Whoa. Universal Securities Instruments shares are trading higher amid unrest at the U.S. Capitol. The companies make safety and security products. So just oh, because, dude, here we go. Just be DJ. What's DGLY doing? Yeah, that was just about to say that. Oh shit, dude! Look at. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Here it goes. Dude, this here is how you know go. you've Police been trading. equipment all over again. This is how you know you've been trading too long. Me and Joe instantly know to the names we need to go to to like to make money. <laughs> like, Jesus, dude. Really quick, guys. That's I know, I know you probably want to talk about the capital and stuff, but I just wanted to introduce this really quick, my watch list this morning, because of how unbelievably straightforward it is. And like we preach every single week, <laughs> no matter what, man, small caps, especially big caps as well, but small caps, dude, are so unbelievably simplified, right? So you had this morning, I was looking at this morning, this didn't have a ton of meat on the bone, but I still post my lines because it was pretty broken and open near VWAP in the open. So that was my scale zone, right? Then we go over to ISR. Joe, what do we say every single week? Opens a VWAP. Let's go to the tops, top one, top two. There's your scale yep. zone. Accurate, accurate to the T. Then this one, what did I say in chat all morning? I said all pre-market. I said, guys, this doesn't 50, have 50 a lot of 50 VWAP, meat. don't jack with it. Don't jack with VWAP, right? And I said, look, this is on VWAP all morning. Not only is it opening on VWAP, what's it up? 90 cents to 150. You need a big squeeze and then a death candle. What did it do? Squeeze, death candle, hit pop, fade all day. Three for three. What, you, what is the maximum that you're going to make on that play? 20 cents? Oh, yeah. Like you got to be perfect and you make be 20 cents? Make 20 cents. Perfect. No. I want to like, I want to suck and be able to make 20 cents. <laughs> I love that. I love that thinking, dude. I want to have a profit margin that is so wide that even mm -hmm. if I'm a little sloppy, I'm pulling in 30 cents easily. And then guys, I said the exact same thing on eight on a tap. I said, this was easy to borrow. It was a little bit of low floater. I said, this is over VWAP. Let it run the outer lines. Where were the outer lines? You had one at eight whole and half dollar number that coincided with this top. And then I always, this is a trick of mine. I go to the next top, but where the wick is. So I drew it right there and do it right within the scale zone. So four for four. This is what I want to show you guys. When we wake up, there's no wizard sorcery. There's no freaking magic. You put your lines on what you expect every day for the stock to go to. You execute the trade and you wrap up, dude. And there's no emotion involved if you plan to it. If you scale this zone and it breaks high a day, 
literally cut it, have a market hard stop, same here, same here. And then dude, if you have the discipline, the patience to wait for the death candle here, boom, it's as simple as that. And I just wanted to show that because every week we show that and we talk about what we talk about. And it's so, um, it's so ingrained, right? Like it's like we bludgeon you guys over the head with the same freaking topics, right? Um, is profiting off the squeeze possible like ACY or SPY? Uh, if you can, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not really what we teach, but I mean, if you follow your lines, I mean, you can absolutely find your way into trades like that. So for example, like you, 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 I think that's what he's referring to. Like the squeezes that are happening on you, you, you. Oh, like halts. Wait, I mean, you could. Did ACY run in it? No. No, no. He's just, he's just talking about previous runners. Oh, uh, yeah. So, we like DGLY, exactly. for example, like like DGLY. Um, oh, with I this see. market news, you can. Whoa, spy got zapped all of a sudden. What just happened there? Nice. What's the next yeah, headline? Spy just Another again. Headline. It's just in that little dip channel. Sentiment Parliament Senate Parliamentary staff secured Electoral College certificates as they were evacuated from the Senate. Chamber. I see what Bartek's saying right here. He's saying, "Look, oh. if if news happens, to, look, all these turds go down, right? Like all these freaking oh turds. National Ooh. Guards on the way to the Capitol. Oh, jeez, dude, that's some serious shit. Holy fuck! There's people scaling the walls. This is insane. Well, this is uh, insane. I'm going to call my family members after this and say, what do you think? <laughs> this is nuts. Okay, uh, so Garrett, Garrett, carry on. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, ch so check this out, guys. I know what Bartek's saying. He's saying most of these doo-doo companies just trade at lows and then one PR comes or some kind of thing happens, then they ramp to freaking highs. Yes, they do. That happens a lot. So like just an example is you could probably hold you, you, you at $4 and just hope to God one day you get something like this, then sell at eight, right? The problem is, is boy, do you have to be on top of it because the news can come right back down. This could be right back down negative by the end of the day, or these things can do offerings. So if you're holding it for Bartek for months on end, you're going to be down on your position because these solely just bleed and bleed and bleed. If they do an offering, then it's at two. You know what I mean? And then you're praying that you know they don't keep diluting and then you get news. When it comes to, don't invest in small caps. When it comes to small caps, you can be a long bias trader but be a long by his day trader. That's like investing, dude. That's like getting in this company and just praying, holding and hoping with no rhyme or reason is never a strategy for small caps in big caps. It's different, dude. You could, I mean, I say this almost every single week, dude. Fidelity came out and said the two number one performing accounts in history of their enterprise is two of two as follows. Number one, dead people who who basically they found out later the person died 10 years ago still had an account they had bought spy they bought tesla they bought whatever they did and it was at all-time highs by the time they, they figured out they, they were dead second is people who opened up accounts long these really good companies and forgot they had accounts then 20 years later they're like bro you do realize this has been accruing dividends and interest and appreciation for the last 20 years you're sitting on a lot of money fidelity said that what do you think happens to a guy who invests with a head on his shoulders and a clearly defined um, level of and comfort with risk. He will buy SPY wherever it's trading at and look at it as a 10 year goal. So with, with big caps, you can 100% do that. If you know your due diligence on the company or the index or the mutual fund in question, and they're very different. I suggest you read a book on all three, but, 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 but you can't do that in small caps and be comfortable. Does that make sense? Joe, what do you think? Oh, I absolutely agree. Absolutely you can't invest agree. in small caps, dude. It's just not a good mm. idea. You got to think about the risk that's involved in those types of trades when you're trying to find these runners beforehand. Maybe, you know, after the run starts, my favorite thing is what you call like a multi-day breakout, um, which is, you know, you got a multi-day move. And what happens is something like this, you'll get it. It used to happen all the time in OTCs. And oh my God, it was my favorite long <laughs> but it, you know, it doesn't happen anymore. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, so it would look like this. So like it would have the candle like this, this would be day one. And then day two ends up looking like this. It'll gap down, kind of be, kind of be weak. And then all of a sudden on day three, you'll get a big move like this. And I do, when I was doing OTCs, <laughs> like as soon as this high, looked like it was going to break on the tape. I bought it. 
and I'd risk but around VWAP all the time. And dude, it would just squeeze. Seven out of ten strong close, and you can let it hang overnight. You can let it. I mean, the this is the beginning of moves usually go to btbt go joe like really one of those quick, bitcoin I, be, plays joe before i do do you remember back in the day of those etc otcs dude what the turn was guys all you had to do is like dude you don't realize how simple they were on otcs you would see something that would be like like let me go to the spy like daily chart right like it would look like this dude i remember bro it would look like this but think about this as if it was intraday and think about if VWAP was a little bit under bro, it would trade over VWAP for, I'm not kidding you, 15 days straight. The minute it started oh, yeah. coming back VWAP, that was the day where it gave back 20, $20, maybe yep. 50% of its entire move, sometimes 90% of its move. And all you had to do was pray to God, you fill short. <laughs> yep. Literally. Yeah, look at, go to, go to BTBT. BTBT. This was a small cap that recently ran with Bitcoin. Uh, and Mara and Riot probably have it too, but look at a daily chart. Yeah, let's, yeah. Like a three month. No, I'll just go to here. Just zoom in, yeah. Yeah. Do you see it? That's what Joe was talking about. Do you see the pause right here? Do you see the pause right there? Do I see the what? The pause. The, the pause? Like, like how it stops, right? You see the run up, the hesitation, and then the break. I see the on brain. a daily time frame. <laughs> it goes, looks like the hippie movement in 69. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a full on break, man. And then blast off, just like Joe said, to yep. the absolute moon. And this happened on IGC as well, back when IGC ran. Uh, back in the last, every time there is sector momentum, I always look for this type of setup like this. Um, <clears throat> when it had that multi-day move was uh, no 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 i just like saying i remember that one that one was oh fun. yes yeah no it was like <clears throat> it was like 2018 it was the first year of mic so 2018 let me go to a five year was it this one there it is there it is there it is there it is so zoom in on that here let me take off bwap hold on and it only happens Truthfully, when there's big sector moves. So you can see it right here. Do you see the big up day and then the like the consolidation day and then the break over this candle high and then you have a strong close. Granted, it sells off, but you sell into that close. You can sell in pieces along the way. But this is my favorite long setup on a sector play. So same thing here. It just takes a longer time frame. You get the big move. You get the big acceleration to the upside consolidation 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 hold, this hold. was the trade i took and it's in the archives guys so if you go back to what was this day what did that say september 29th 2018 like. what yeah, this this green upside. candle right here what's this green candle right here that is a lot of freaking upside what's that joe what's that green candle right there this one hold on one second let me get my arrow what's that date where is your post again? Sorry, I was getting the arrow right here. Which this one. right here? Uh, that's yes. 27. 20 what? That's 27. So, y'all can go back in the archive if you're an annual or lifetime member. Go back to the 27th in main trading chat and look at when we talked about IGC. And I traded that live in the chat room back on that date. And I talked about this setup, I showed a lot of screenshots. You can see the charts um, that I posted. Yeah, it'll be there. Dude, the, the crazy thing about this, man, is like on something like this, right? Like the stall that Joe's talking about or that consolidation point rather, like that's probably more accurate terminology is guys, when something like this happens on a doo-doo company, usually you get this. Like the next day, if this is, or the next two days, if it's not down here, oh, that's trouble. But like, think about what shorts here, are doing. Pause, then boom. Think about what the shorts are doing that are like, this is going back to a dollar. Yeah, they're like, no, it's, it's going, going back, back to a dollar. Cents, right? Literally. They're scaling in. They're scaling in. They're scaling in. They're fucked. Like, that's the process. And so this generates the big, I mean, I just drew the same arrow that you did, but that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive that this can, and this is how it starts. And this this type of stuff, like these setups right here, I want to see it on, on marijuana names. 
and I want to see it on volume like this. And then all of a sudden we start to get, you see this volume acceleration, price acceleration, consolidation, and then you get the blow off top move. And then like you that's what I'm waiting on, here. on the marijuana sector. I'm not trying to buy these down here when there's nothing happening. If you have that kind of talent, God bless you. I don't. God. Um, I want to buy these when the momentum starts and then you get the consolidation and then the real move. That's what I want to wait for. Bingo. So like, I don't ever try to find them beforehand. If you can props to you, man. I mean, I've seen, I've seen crazier shit happen. You know, I've seen the spy tank 10 points and then rally back nine in the same day. Oh yeah. Many times. And so, I mean, can't say, you know, I can't say it can't happen. You know, I can't say that there's not edge there. There might be it's just not what we do. Guys, any more questions? Do you guys use any other indicators than VWAP? Uh, I Pivot do that points. personally. Joe, Pivots. You? Oh, you do? Oh, well, pivots is, God, I don't even consider pivots an indicator, to be honest. But I guess technically they yeah. are. Technically they are, but, you know, like, they're really, I don't, I, I, when I think of indicators, I think of, like, stochastics <laughs> and, like, fancy shit like that. If you're asking if I use the <clears throat> Ichimoki cloud, then yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. In my um, Like, every single day, pivots and VWAP, that's it. Yep. Um, on a daily time frame, if I'm kind of looking at something maybe bigger picture, I might move. I might put some moving averages in. But this is only for big caps. Don't use moving averages on small caps, folks. If you're a small cap trader, don't do. I mean, you don't need anything but pivot points and BWAP. Stop dude, fucking around so with all that extra shit. If you were like literally, dude, only a swing trader, I would say. You know, Joe may disagree with this, but I would say, where's where's RSI? I would say you could dabble in RSI, but I don't even. I would understand. totally agree with you. Oh, I, I, that where, reminds where me. Speaking of speaking of RSI, and I don't know either. Um, momentum studies. Oh, there it is. I would say you can maybe use RSI, but like yeah, so you I, can dabble in it. Just, but I mean, it, I don't use it every day. I use it in like extreme situations. So yep. If you notice ZM, what happened on ZM, look at ZM. The moment it went oversold, like the moment it went oversold right here, bottom, got the bounce, and there's your trade. Yep, that's that's what we're talking about, guys. But you'd have to literally, dude, if you're a long bias trader. Don't do this in small caps, ever. You'd have to have the patience to wait for these levels because 30 and 70 on RSI is pretty much your default standard RSI readings. So if you were to go to like, let's say a 15 day, three minute, obviously there's different variations because it's a different yeah. time frame. You can play accordingly. Like obviously you can catch some intraday trades in here. But like I said, man, the only one that I would condone outside of anything we teach at MIT is maybe, maybe RSI if you're a pure swing trader. And that's, and that's only main, on big caps. Only on big caps. Yep. Now, there was somebody that asked a question about ETFs, and I know you used to trade ETFs, and you're pretty knowledgeable on those. I so used to be, man. just for the record, if someone, and you've talked about this before, but if someone wanted to buy long-term oh, UVXY, why is that a bad idea? Guys, and I'm just going to okay, let so you explain it. Dude, so just, if you would explain it with a chart really quick and show why. Let's, go to, let's go to D, guys, right? So I started okay, yeah, on these. Or any of those. So I started on these guys. This is uh, this is something that's called D guys. You guys, man, I'm getting some serious lag. Hold on one sec. Um, let's see if you guys tell your neighbors to get off your Wi-Fi. God, seriously, it always happens during these webinars towards <laughs> the end. It's like I I can't load shit. Um, what's the uh, we'll go to Nugget right? Like gold. Yep. So guys, the thing about um, and let's go back here. Let's go to like a five year. The thing about um, ETFs that you have to pay attention to is what's called premium decay. And believe me, I'm not a professional at this, man. It's just, I started with these. There's I just know you used to trade ETFs like constantly. Oh yeah. So, so I know you knew the terminology. Dude, seriously, there, yeah. there's, there's air pockets within price, like 
like fluctuations and catching up with the value and like where it's trading at. You guys, I'm telling you, man, go watch a, go watch a YouTube video on what premium decay is. But anytime you guys are invested in something that's an ETF, dude, it's, it's like a small cap, bro. They eventually just on or on a downward slope until news, a main world event. And obviously they pay play in accordance to each other, like a mirror, but like a reverse side. So like, like a heads and a tails of a coin. Right. So if yep. nugget, is the bullish and um, you know uh, the the side that longs want to buy to go up when it comes to gold, you know, and whether there's two times, three times, there's um, you know, depending on the volatility, then you have something like uh, what was a uh, dust? Dust is the inverse. So dust, this is a perfect example of the daily chart. This is what ETFs look like on a long enough time frame. They, dude, I told you, the, this is all premium decay, man. This is not because it had bad news and this and that. This is because these stocks are designed to continually, like an air balloon, get poked and then bleed out air, bleed out air, bleed out air mm -hmm. until you're just driving on this tire that by the end of the time, you know, end of your day, you're like, oh my God, I have a flat tire. That's what an ETF is. So just like a small cap, they're pretty much designed to go down. Um, but again, it's not something that you, again, dude, it's not something that you short right here and hold for months because what if this fucking move happens? So you can't, just don't swing trade ETFs is my and you can't, one piece of advice. <laughs> you can't long them either because if you long them, you get caught in premium decay yes. where the they will reverse split on you to bring up the price, which reduces your share count, but doesn't help your average at all. Correct. So if you look at UVXY, oh God, this, this is a great chart example of this. Look at this chart. It's just designed to eat shit. Like it's designed to do that. Now you can, granted, at times you can catch these big moves like this, but the the decay, it, you don't long this. You don't long this, no matter if it's all the way down here at these levels, because what if it just continues to go and then it all the way, it goes all the way to five well, Joe, before Joe, it ever does anything. Joe, here's the thing, right? So like guys look at this and they go, oh my God, dude, I'm a short. This is going way lower. It's going way lower. And then boom. The market happens, the capital happens, the spy goes crazy. And this is obviously, if you guys aren't aware, this is in very, very much close consideration with the spy. So you need to pay attention to what the spy is doing. So you're short right here thinking it'll go to freaking two or whatever the reverse split is at that time, you know, wherever yep. it's actually trading it. And then you get this dude and you're sunk overnight and you owe your broker, your mortgage, your wife, your kids, and well, definitely your wife. But <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, you can lose but all what happens. Money, right? What happens too is people like zoom back in on the UVXY before yeah. that big run. Like right here. Yeah. This is what <clears throat> people will do is they will buy it and they'll buy it over here and they'll be like, oh, the market's way overbought. It's going to get sold off and they'll buy it. And then that shit will fade for four and a half months. And I'm telling you guys True. down here, down here, you mentally probably will not be able to handle it and you will stop out and then this will happen it's just it's just the psychology of the stock market it's it's crazy how it works but i'm telling you that is what will probably happen to 95% of you if you take that trade dude dude one of, one of my one of my best friends actually actually my best friend in the world joe he was uh, he makes sick money dude he makes like you know, two to 400 grand in a corporate job. So what I'm not sick money for traders, but sick money for like, dude, just a fucking corporate job where he gets to be with his family, mm -hmm. work from home, bro. He literally told me, he was like, dude, I want to, I want to like short, like he go, he doesn't know shit about trading. dude. My best friend in the world doesn't know jack shit because he's, he never wants to learn, right? Like he's stuck in his job. Right. And he, and he devotes his life to it. But I'm always like, look, man, like there are small caps, there's big caps. Like, what are you wanting to do? And he comes at me and goes, dude, I heard this guy from work. He's shorting like 500 shares of the UVXY. Like, what do you think? I'm like, get, I'm, I'm like, oh, Lord fuck, Jesus. fuck you, dude. I'm like, no, I have yeah. shown you, et cetera, et cetera. Like I'm starting to get hurt. I'm starting to get my feelings hurt, dude. I have shown you how small caps work. I have told you how big cap investing works and you want to fucking gamble on UVXY. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah. dude. I know you're my best friend in the world, but I'm going to smack you upside the head next yeah, time. I'm going to smack in the dick. you. I'm like, I, everybody just, just wants to gamble. Because they ask you, they ask you your thoughts and then they go get a second opinion and believe that person that they don't even know. Dude, they don't even know. You know why? You know and why? And I'm like, oh, you got to be joking and, and, he me. and here's why. Here's why. 
because this is the shiny object that literally, dude, I'm not kidding you, can yeah. make you rich overnight or broke or broken overnight because that kind of volatility is a make or break in, in one or a week if you catch it at the right time or catch wrong at the wrong time. So yep. again, people always navigate towards get rich. I hate my job. I'm stuck at a corporate thing. I want to get rich. I want to, I want to, I want to, you know, be on a yacht in Lake Como because I see George Clooney sipping tequila on his yacht and banging all these badass tens and UVA, UVXY is going to get me there, but not my pension plan and not my retirement and, mm -hmm. and Sep IRA and, 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 you know, <laughs> it's just, dude. Uh, it, it, it makes me want to storm the capital of my friend. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah, don't absolutely. Want. I'm getting heated, dude, because now it's personal, man. I'm like, Dick, I want to storm you. the capital. Oh, my God. I'm like, Dick, I've shown you how small caps work. I have yeah. sat you down over endless cigars, whiskeys. Uh, well, he drinks because I don't drink. And I'm like, I have literally told you. Dude, I think you do. just made a new catchphrase. Like it makes me so mad. I want to storm the Capitol. Like of my friend, <laughs> dude. I think I think that's a new catchphrase, <laughs> bro. I, I, you know what? You know what it is, Joe. You know. You know what it showed me, man. It showed me sorry, that still... no matter what you know, no matter what you can provide, whether it's knowledge, whether it's not, is when it comes to um even your friends or your family everyone on this earth wants to get rich quick unless you have trained that part of your brain that knows it does not exist right yes, yes. absolutely correct absolutely spy at lowe's <laughs> I, I let's go, go. let's go oh let's see what spy's doing man this is just too much fun dude cues are almost oh wait no the cues are red on the day my shit's right. just yeah, all just fucked up. My Joe, you're, I think you're solid here, man. Again, I think um, mm. I think what happens overnight and how the media turns it over, if they make it sound like the world is ending, bro, you can yeah. wake up to a serious gap down. Options, I, I don't know if you guys knew this. I didn't know this when I first started trading options. Somebody told me in MIC. I was like, what the fuck? But options on the ETF, like on SPY, will continue to trade for the uh, for the 15 minutes after the market close. So when the market closes, you still have another 15 minutes to, to uh, exit your position. So I'm sitting here. If <clears throat> the reality for me is if the hourly bar on the SPY does not close under this pivot at 373, I'm just going to take my profits and look to re-enter tomorrow. Because overnight they could resolve this riot thing and all of a sudden it becomes a thing in the past and the market just rallies back higher, you know? Yeah. We could have some kind of bipartisan agreement for once. And <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, as I'm talking about it, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out. I'm out. Take your 700 bucks, dude, and go enjoy a nice steak dinner. Yeah, I'm out. I'm flat. As I talk about it, I'm flat. I was like, eh, you know what? Every dip has been gap brought room. up. Let's just not flat. test the waters anymore. Puts See, even when here. Joe's not buying the dip, oh. he's acting as if when he's short, the dip will be bought up. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. You well, know, guys, I just don't like, I don't like how this damn pivot keeps holding. I feel you, buddy. Pivots I are, just pivots it, are look at the wicks too. Like it wicks under the pivot and then bounces hard. Wicks under the pivot and then bounces back. I'm like, okay, I'm tired of this fucking chop. I want some smooth. I want it smooth. This is like a good a lesson for you bottom. guys. What what Joe just experienced by covering when he was like, maybe I'll hold is called trader fatigue. And he finally hit his fuse where he goes, ah, damn it. I can't take this consolidation more. Just give me my money. That's called Absolutely. fatigue. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, I've sat here and just watched this for, did you say what I think you said, Joe? Cover? What did I say? Smooth as a baby's butt? Is he sending dick pics? What's he doing? Oh, uh, that's some dude in a, in a Senate office. You know what's funny? Is all of these people are going to get ticketed out the ass or even imprisoned like i hope that i hope you don't think we to... can't use facial recognition software to figure out that 
that Hank Williams here sitting at the desk in his shit kicking boots is gonna like you gotta be kidding me. Dude, Nancy Pelosi's like, wait a second, that guy just sold me my new Honda Accord. I know Why him. Do they all look like drunk rednecks, man. Because <laughs> they are. Dang, dude. dude. God dang. And Joe regrets that cover. <laughs> You know what? Truthfully, I don't actually. I'm getting it. Truthfully, I don't. No, but I, I'm with you. I, you know, when it when it overnight, when we open tomorrow at 367 on a big fucking fat gap down, I'm gonna be like, damn it, should have fucking should have held 10 percent of my position, dude. But dude, I have to just kind of zoom out here. Okay, I'm probably not gonna be perfect. Okay, I'm probably not gonna get the top in the market. But if if past performance is indicative of future returns which it is. Um, I've got plenty of opportunity to get back into the trade here. So, you know, go with the trader fatigue of, you know, like, I'm like, son of a bitch. I'm so tired of watching this bounce off of that pivot point that I'm like, I guess, fuck it, fuck it, I'm out. Well, fuck that's it. that's the ping pong of price action. So when you're caught yeah. in that ping pong, ping pong as a spectator, when you actually have a position, it's just back and forth, back and forth. Dude, it's like seasickness. Eventually you just throw up and you're like, just throw in the towel, man. Pay me or give me my loss, but I just can't take it anymore. It's just too freaking annoying. That's called trader fatigue, which everyone in here has experienced. And fluid price action is fun. This kind of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth is like pulling teeth or what's called Chinese water torture where they drip some water on you. Just one drop very slowly, but over and over and over to the point where you go insane. Dude, Netflix about to breach 500. Damn. I'll be looking for a scoop on this at 475. Bro, why is my shit going so slow? Damn, look at this bleed on Netflix, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Joe, you still there? Yeah, sorry. I was typing oh, back was like, to this do, member do here. You, are you, are you yeah, so class? one of the, no, sorry. So one of the comments uh, from one of the guys in the large cap channel, and yeah, believe it, guys, we actually communicate with our members. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> uh, he's, he said he's taking... Uh, 60% of what he made today and he's putting it in February put options. So basically he's like in 45 days, he thinks within the 45 days, there's going to be a market correction. Um, and he's like, I think the market is effectively pinned with plays from November election time period here. And we'll have more freedom to fall after this week. And I, I, I told him, I said, I absolutely agree with you. But what I want to point out here is this is when you're using gains to, to like roll up into what you call roll up or roll down, I guess, in puts. But basically you're, you're taking 50% of what you've already made today and you're putting that in another trade that you can hold further out. That is what we teach called recycling, but that's it in the options world. And I, so I don't disagree with that trade at all all at all but you only can do that when you have realized gains to draw from okay otherwise you're going to get bent you're going to get bent on the trade okay just like he's going to get bent over in jail bro <laughs> <laughs> and he had a he had a great trade that um the member had a great trade he posted this guy actually was the first person to post the headlines of the riots and when I saw his headlines and I saw the pullback, I was like, I'm in. Let's go. Let's go. So props to you, sir. I appreciate you. Props to you, sir. Yeah. And so that that's why I'm that's why I didn't carry it overnight is because I just I don't like the overnight risk. Wow, look at it, Tank. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. Dude, I close up shop or, or my clothes would have deafened all of you overnight. Look at this shit. Down a point already down a point from the close already ah the fatigue ah the, oh, the, the fatigue the infamous trader fatigue and then it goes the exact way you wanted it bro honestly i wouldn't even know if this was happening if i wasn't in this webinar right now and <laughs> See, so I want that's venmo, the mentality bro. i have to have or else i'm just gonna sit here and stare at shit venmo <laughs> for the next venmo 20 percent, bro i'm up in my stake i need 20 percent now fuck that finder's i mean future. you told me to cover it at at that pivot and then I held it and it bounced and then it went back to the pivot 
and I'm like, all right, I'm done. All right, so we'll settle on like Venmo 7%, 8%? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, right, finder's fee, good, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a McMuffin today and a McFlurry. <laughs> Guys, what a fun webinar, man. We do these every single week, dude. Joe and I are as enthusiastic as two people can be. Oh, um, real quickly, trader fatigue. What are your res What are your solutions for that? Oh, just uh, fine. Go man. into a coma. Uh, that's pretty much all I've got. Say, 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 look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Trade the most fluid times of the day. Trade the first hour if you're short and reversal time only. If you are in a trade, set a market hard stop, walk away from your computers and you won't experience the fatigue. Go about your life. Play around the yeah. Game. I mean, you guys saw me sit here and do this webinar with Tosh and I'm sitting here watching this, like constantly watching this. And why, why at 3 p.m. or at 4 p.m. are we getting all these questions all of a sudden? Joe, 100%, dude, if you were literally not watching tick for tick on that, I know you would have been holding it. I would have held it. In the golf course, like, dude, I'm up on my position. I would have still been in. Yep. Yeah. That's what I'd still be in. But because I'm sitting here watching it chop and hit that fucking pivot 42 times, I'm out. Guys, it chips and, away at you like water on rock mm -hmm. after centuries. It literally just slowly takes away and takes away and you go, oh my God, dude, just just get, at least yep. like, let me make money or let me lose. Just, I, I can't take this anymore. And then you get out and then sometimes yep. maybe it does go your way. And if that your is plan is to swing, take it off of the chart, set hard stops first, profit target and a hard stop, take it off of the chart and trust your plan. And then go That's get it. intimate with your spouse. That's what you got to do, man. Get your and mind get off intimate it. with your lady. So <laughs> with your lady, with your guy, whatever, with whatever, your guy, I'm whichever not way you swing, we don't judge. Uh -huh. Just get your mind off charts. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm Joe, I'm going to go storm the capital of this sandwich, bro. And then I will catch you next week, buddy. In the capital. <laughs> Dude, we got to make a t-shirt. We got to make it. <laughs> That's the next hit up five, We got to hit up 5.9. I'm going to hit that, up 5.9 right now. 5.9. You got to do something with it, man. I need I need something. Can you please? <laughs> See you guys. I Thank swear to God, know, I'm man. DMing right now. I'm DMing him right now. I know and if he makes me a really up. cool design of Storm the Capitol, I'm going to get two t-shirts. One for you, one for me. <laughs> awesome. We'll wear them during the <laughs> webinar. <laughs> See you, Joe. See you guys. Later, bro. Bye.